Hola amigos, so let's have something a bit different today, I've not done uh, one before, uh, monitor repair, so this has just been brought into the workshop today uh, by a guy who owns a mobile repair shop just up the road, mobile phone repair shop and I give him work and he gives me work and it works well, yeah. So uh, Hewlett Packard, um, 27F, if you can just see it in the corner there, yeah, 27F. Uh, monitor 27 inch and he says it's dead for well, the customer says it's dead uh, it came with the uh, power supply let me just dig it out so this is the power supply that came with it and we can plug it in mm -hmm. well yeah i mean there's no light uh, there's, there's no no power light uh, and What's, what's going on here? Can you see this, guys? I mean, it's like, I don't know. Let's just zoom down on that. But it's interesting. That is kind of like, oh, that's loose. That's not very good, though. That. That's where the power supply plugs in. This is like waggling around. And it, this looks like it's melted or something to me. Let's just zoom down. You can have a closer look at that. Yeah, yeah this here. It's like... This is kind of like the other side of here. Let me flick it over. It's where the uh, the power socket is. So that melted bit is kind of like there, yeah, sort of near to here. And the other thing I just noticed, just balance it so the screen's not against the bench as such. Uh, uh, the other thing I noticed with this is that the power supply. Look, yeah. It's not looking very clever, is it that, to be honest. So maybe this is something simple, yeah? maybe it's just a, <laughs> a simple problem with it. Um, let's have a look to see if this power supply is giving any, any voltage out first, that would be a good start. But I'm not overly, sh <laughs> I'm not impressed with that waggly connector, I think that's where the problem is. So we can go on here, and we can, yeah. 19 volts so we've definitely got some power getting in getting to here it's what happens to it after that uh, just a bit of sticky tape i think on here yeah. so what i'll do is i'll i'll figure out how to open this up and then uh, we'll have a look behind here this area yeah we'll look behind here where the power comes in let's see what we can find okay i'll do my best first of all to uh, get the spudger i think and open this one up right give me a few minutes Okay, I got the back piece off in the end. It was a bit of a fiddle to do it actually, but I, 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 it's done. It was just all together with clips basically. It was just they were quite stiff and hard to get at. So this is our connector, and uh, yeah, this is loose. Yeah, you can see this is loose. Let me just zoom down on that one. So this is the the first thing then, and we can see this is actually seems to be completely loose. So to fix that, we need to take this shielding off here and get to this board. Doesn't quite explain why it was melted in this area. This is a little bit strange. There's what was like kind of melting on the front plastic. I'm not really sure what was uh, what's caused that at the moment. But uh, let's get this off here. Let's have a look to see if we can fix this connector or maybe have to replace it. If I can find a suitable <laughs> one to replace it with, of course. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, so there's just uh, four more of these screws, I think, which hold this into place. And with a bit of what this will come off. I'll zoom that out a little bit more, actually, so you can uh, see a little bit better what's going on. Okay, so yeah, the fact that that's loose already, look. Um, this end appears to, yeah, this is the. Uh, LVDS, uh, low voltage differential signal cable going down to the actual panel itself. This is the connection into the into the panel. What's happened here? <laughs> I'm off the shot. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this is the LVDS cable which goes down here. So we just need to uh, probably yeah lift the back end of that one up. That should then come out of there. So, usually these quite quite easily. There, there you go. So that's out of there. 
two more screws and hopefully this this will actually come off now and we can have a look to see what's going on with it I mean hopefully it's just that bad uh, connection for the uh, the DC input the bear lock okay, one more okay so yeah there we are we can take this off here okay so there's our little board and um, Yep, a few more screws. I'll move the main part of this panel out of the way now, just put it uh, safe on one side for a little while. Okay, I've dealt with that. So yeah, this is our little board. Let's see what we've got here. I'm not sure the screwdriver exactly fits these, but they're they, they coming out. They're coming. I think it's more the fact that this doesn't quite sort of sit flat on the bench basically. Yeah, it's because that's sticking out the way it is, that's why it's not uh, not sitting down as well as you thought it might do, or I thought it might do. Okay. Last one. Bits of stuff got on the bench there. I thought, I thought I'd clean it all up. That's from uh, the job I was doing earlier, just replacing some LEDs. <laughs> Would you believe it? There's even uh, even more screws in this before we can actually get inside it. Okay, let's go. I ought to find that two times speed button, hasn't it really? Ah, there we go. So, this is our connector. Let's have a look to see what's going on with it. Yeah, it looks sort of like the, the plastic's kind of like loose. The middle pin is moving a little bit as well, which uh, was a bit worrying because you assume that was soldered straight down to here. But this one here, I don't know if you can see it. See that moving? So what I'll try first is to scrape away some of the uh, solder mask around here. Let's see. Yeah, this is ground by the way, so I'm assuming that's a ground connection. And I'm guessing pretty much this is broken away from here. The middle one, mm, maybe is okay. I think if we connect the power supply to this, we can see probably where they're getting power to here and whether it should go to here. Let's just um, let's just connect the actual uh, power supply. And let's see what we've got on the uh, connector itself. But this seems to be is going to be just a problem of mechanically getting the thing to actually connect properly and stay connected properly. Can we get into the shot? Yeah, that's just about. Okay, so this should be the 19 volts here. Oh, interesting, it's reading negative. No, it's reading negative that way, that was 11. Yeah, I'm not getting a good a good reading against that at all, to be quite honest. Positive in the middle, 19, yeah. So I'm not getting a good uh, connection to it. I think the best thing to do is probably going to be to take this connector off and we can actually have a look to see what's happened to it then. Yeah, definitely not getting a good connection. Okay, let's get this thing off the board and let's have a look at it. So initially, I'm going to try with a bit of flux and uh, solder braid and see if I can actually get this off that way. Otherwise, I might use the vacuum uh, desoldering tool. Well, let's try this first. So we'll see first if we can actually get this off. So I've put some flux on. I may have to add some leaded solder as well, but we can try. So that's coming off quite nicely. away from there quite nice. I actually felt the thing go click there like it kind of like pushed downwards maybe. Uh, this is the end that's got the big problems by the looks of it. Okay. Yeah it looks like a little bit of, uh, can you see it stuck on the end of my eye in there? A little bit of the effect with the pad that that pin was sticking into was broken away. It was obviously broken away from the board already. So let's see if we can actually now just get this off the board <coughs> and then we can work out if the middle pin is actually okay or not. 
try adding a bit of uh, solder, wedded solder to this, and I might just be able to to pull it out basically. Um, rather than having to get hot air onto it, let's just try. So, wedded solder there, wedded solder there. This pin, from what I can see, the, the pad's actually just broken away altogether. So, I should be able to get these two hot together. Will it just come out? So, yeah, the plastic's not getting hot, so I can get hold of it. Yeah, it's coming as well. It's out. Okay, so we can see straight away that the the centre pin is actually sheared off here. Yeah. That's effectively still stuck in the board. So that 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 had actually broken. So we're gonna have to replace this um, with another one. But first of all, we can attach a couple of wires onto this. Uh, probably just wire on the socket on a couple of bits of wire. We can actually have a look to see if the thing will actually work then. So I'll, I'll get this out and I'll get this out and then we'll attach some wires onto it. Okay, so it's off the board now. Um, and you can see that the there's a connection here and a connection here and then one in the middle. And the middle one, this is going to go through over here to the positive risk capacitor, I would say. This is the effectively voltage in. Uh, you can just lift it up. I can trace it through anyway with the meter. But this is your positive and center anyway, we know that. And then these two on the board looks like they may not be connected together, but they actually connect together through, through the connector. I'll show, I'll show you that in a minute. So we can just uh, go to a uh, bleeper mode. You can hear it, yeah. Uh, so. I'm interested to see whether this point and this point actually connect together on the board. So yes, yeah, so that that's just the track, that's ground to there, yeah. And that's also I'm assuming ground to this side as well, just to be sure. Uh, this is the uh, the wire is actually coming through the board. So that's there. Yeah, that's ground. So this is one of the connections here, and this is the other one. And effectively, they don't connect together like that. But if you look how this fits onto here, so it goes it goes this way around. Yeah, it fits like this. If you look in the back of it, you'll see there's this metal piece here. This insert and this thing here is like a springy clip attached to that one. So when you actually connect the plug in, if you watch it, you'll see that it actually pushes, pushes that little springy tab down that way, yeah? Ready? There. And now I'm pretty certain we'll have a connection between this point here and this point here. Actually, that surprised me because I thought you would have had. No, you don't have. Do have a connection between there and there now? Just go into it again. Oh, on the desk, by the easy. So I'm just trying to figure out how this thing works. So that's part of this, but it doesn't connect to that. So this piece actually pulled out when I took it off the board. This, this, this little bit actually came out of the connector, yeah? So let's have a look at this. Little metal bit here. I'm just trying to figure out if the two points connect together or should. So, this bit here that's connected to that anyway. But interestingly, that doesn't seem to push forwards um, onto the other part. So, I'm just going to in here with this again. Yeah, that's not using there like that. No, that definitely pushes back that way, and it's connected to it anyway. So I'm not really sure what this bit here is supposed to be doing, is the truth of that. Put this onto here. So the middle pin is now on the 19 volts. So if we get the meter into the shot, so we've got. We've got so 19 volts is on there in the middle. Yeah, so we get into the shot. Okay, the 19 volts is there. Yeah, so between the middle and this point here is the 19 volts. That's where sweat supply is coming in. 
This doesn't seem to be doing anything, interestingly enough. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. So, we can see this way around. Yeah, okay. So, we have the 19 volts from here to here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tag some wires on this now and then see if I can wire a socket or something to it. So, I don't think I have a suitable one of these to actually replace it with. It does also actually look, if you look at the board, that uh, this point here isn't connected, like it doesn't connect to here. And I think you can see it a bit more clearly on the other side. It looks like a, a ring around it. So I think this actually is just a mounting point, and this is your plus and minus. Okay, so I, mean, I don't have any sockets like that one. Um, I've had a look at my salvage stuff and I don't find one that would fit here. But well, here's a, a panel mounting one. So we stick this onto here. Oh, we can just get the meter somewhere we can see it. So I think on this one, the, this point is the uh, positive on this big thing here. Yeah, and I think this is the negative. Or well, this one. Yeah, so we've got 19 volts plus and minus there. So what I can probably do with this, if I just zoom the camera out. Yeah, so this is like the back piece. So that circuit board sits here. There's a lot of empty space behind here. So I don't see any reason why I couldn't uh, drill somewhere here, or, or a bit higher up here, and fit this uh, panel mounting socket on, on, onto there, yeah? Fit it on here, and then just internally just couple wires from here down to, to, to the board. So I think we can do that and have this fixed to be quite honest and looking almost as good as new. So what we'll do is we'll attach some wires on here first and we'll just connect this up temporarily and let's see if it actually works. Okay so I've tagged the wires on for now um, from the connector. So I can try this on the monitor now. Let's have a look see if it works and if it does work then there's enough room to bring this over here and actually bolt it through onto that back panel and this will look great to be quite honest uh, when it's finished like I say almost as good as new okay so let's now try to see if that actually fixes the problem or if there's anything else wrong with it I've assembled this enough to get the thing to try it so here's our connector that's now soldered on I'm going to plug that onto there oh and there's a little light come on that's a good sign is it too? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is working. So what we can do now is actually mount this onto that back panel, basically, and uh, we should be good to go. Okay, let's get that done. Okay, so it's all back together again. Um, you can see the the socket I've mounted on the back, so it's a very neat job to be quite honest. Now fits in fine, and the, the lights on, I can see. And uh, do we yes, we have a picture, okay, so that's fixed. Um, yeah, nice little job, that to be quite honest, not but not a, a big one, it could be you know, profitable for an hour's work. I think that one, okay, guys. So, there you go. Sometimes it's not so difficult to fix these things and just have to think outside the box a little bit. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Adios, amigos. See you soon.